Nowadays, if you've got the money, you can buy automatic weather monitoring gear that links into your house and turns on the central heating at the right time and all that sort of thing. But in the past, weather had to be hand collected. Every record written down by somebody who'd been out there with a weather gauge or an anemometer or whatever it was. And those old records are now being used in modern climate change models and digitised again by indiv individuals who look at the, those old figures and put them by hand into a computer. So we're connected to the individuals who recorded those weather records in the past right the way through ourselves now putting them into modern computers to the future and what might happen to climate in the future. Anyway. So I wrote about all that. <clears throat> and it also, this, um, this poem refers to a thing called a Weisler weather hawk, which is one of those incredibly sophisticated weather recording devices. Um, nowadays, the Weisler weather hawk that sets you back 300 pounds and more will personalize your weather, trigger your sprinkler system and your heating, so your tennis lawn stays watered and your Ferrari will not skid on an iced drive. But weather was once more handmade. Every figure marked down on a page was a moment in a life. A country vicar escaping from the circle of his oil lamp to note the exact speed of the wind. A teacher blowing on her mittened fingers to write a temperature in neat black ink. A soldier, long retired, testing rain gauges in a Yorkshire field. Or a skinny girl at the weather station's louvered side, as if it were a porthole to another world. In Haparanda, Hannah Sand and Stockholm, Wisby, Cartsford, Fader, Scudaness, Reacher's Point and Beeritz and Ponta Delegada, Careful weather watchers in button boots and waistcoats, in rubber mackintoshes and straw hats, performed the daily ritual of recording a small part of something bigger than themselves. As we tap our keyboards, squinting at our screens, at the handwritten figures, our many lives, our moments, reconnect through those lost data points with lives long gone. All our stories coalesce. We may lose the details, but they will serve a bigger, sharper picture with a purpose better than fast cars and tennis courts, an explanation of our world and where and how we fit together in it.